Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and Darkest Dungeon Tips and Tricks. Yes, this particular block is going on for a bit longer due to the vote. Probably not going to start the next Cultist Simulator run for another week or so. So you get to see another week of me diving headfirst into abomination-filled dungeons in an attempt to keep our give my people's sanity and health intact in that regard i am going to be doing something kind of interesting this episode which is um <clears throat> a particular tactic that probably is going to come across as being a bit cheap but it's highly effective now you may notice that i've got a whole bunch of people over here but you also might notice that i specifically have kept up here at the top right oh you can't see the cursor right but that the top right where it says 16 by 21 four slots minimum open and there's a reason for that see i want to deal with the wizen hag but if you real if you remember the wizen hag is the only boss so far the only conflict that's actually taken down one of my people with past uh, level zero and it's kind of going to be a tough fight again because their ability to not only disable one of my people but damage them every not every round but every time anybody moves which makes her a bit of a uh, of a cheat so therefore it's a risk every time i take her out and also notice i'm particularly low on cash so here's what i'm thinking i'm going we've used the red shirt tactic before this time around we're going to use the red team to fight tactic the one must know it one of the advantages of having what level through laboratory than the blood soaked battlefield anywhere no actually it's not true the Napoleonic wars did provide the basis for modern medicine yeah sometimes the, the uh, disembodied voice of my ancestor has a point and you know between this and arkham horror i'm kind of getting used to having obnoxious and obnoxious disembodied voices that are probably working for the enemy over my shoulder but yes we're actually going to take the entire team that we just grabbed here and we're going to use them and i don't care about any of their stats i don't care about any of their attributes because i do not care if they come back or not so yeah we got one two three where's the fourth one i i Totally know I got a fourth one there. Tordevel, to a Gale, Senuous, there you are. Yeah, you're kind of messed up, but we can deal with this. Anyways, you'll notice they come with all maxed out armor, they come out with maxed out skills, and they come out with four random camping skills. I mean, I'm not really that kind of, I'm not really that um picky about that because, like I said, this is a complete squad of red shirts, which means that I. Simply, I'm going to take them out to, with no equipment, a minimum, sorry, no magic items, a minimum of equipment, and we are going to see what we, in fact, we can do. Now, we do need to stat these guys out properly. So, let's see. You, there, there, you go here, and you go there. All right, so, let's get these, let's get it right. Now, in order to deal with her, we need to be able to attack the third and fourth, uh, We've got the third and fourth positions because that's where she will always be now you as a jester need to be able to move around i want the finale in place because i want to be able to drop it also you know wow man do you do some serious damage to yourself when you do that harvest because you want to make her bleed and solo this does not work so well in your current position so let's get slice off or yeah that'll do basically we're putting him into a we're putting him into a number two slot as a combatant doing the same for him by the way but we're going to switch out for finish him because we need the ability to reach into into uh rank three of the enemy which collect bounty does not do but finish him does we also need these caltrips are great because not only the bleed they're going to debuff the target to do more damage so we want to open up with this now of course we want to be able to do standard attack, so mark a death, we'll switch that out for, for the come hither. This combination, of course, is lethal for our people that uh, there are normal attacks. And if we manage to get stuck with this configuration by attacking the her, we can just spam these two like crazy against her or in order to prevent doing that. Now, he's going to front line, which is obviously not his usual uh, thing. So, yeah, come hither, collect bounty, finish him. Caltrips is a big issue. This can these can only be done when he's in position uh, two. Then I guess we're gonna have to just go with the uppercut and the scare guard and use it with the finish him. I love these cow trips on, on her, and it might come in useful for just reshuffling. So let's try this for now. Let's see what happens. But for the meantime, if we if the meantime, if we come up to her and we can know her position, I'll switch the cow trips at the last moment. I'll have to otherwise I might be guessing. Okay. Stress faster. All right, cool. 
Okay, you, my dear friend, Plague Grenade or Noxious Blast. What you actually want is Plague Grenade, for the most part. You want to be able to stab them, the emboldening... Hmm. Uh, disorienting Blast, Shuffle, doesn't work well against her. We need the Battlefield Medicine, obviously, the basic attack of Incision. It will not attack with Section 3, but this will, the Plague Grenade. Remember, we have Bleed. I once said it, never mind. Sorry, should have turned off the alerts. But bleed with them for the regular targets, the first and second ones, and when we're dealing with her, we're going to basically play grenade the hell out of her. That means that we won't be using Noxious Blast, because we need that. Now, Blinding Gas for Stun Effect. I don't think you can really stun, and it doesn't do any damage worth a damn, so let's talk about whether we buff or we disorientate. This one can be useful against mooks, but we'll switch over to the buff target when we come to the uh, actual boss fight. Assuming that we have the option to do so, you, my friend, first of all, you're, you're the primary healer, obviously. Sacrificial Stab, which is good, because it will go into rank 3 to hit her, but let's remove the Demon's Pull, which is really good, but, we're gonna, but kind of a pointless, and we're going to add... Where is it? Motherich. Okay, Vulnerability Hex is armed. Abyssal Artillery is okay. So, I mean, it's damage worth a damn. Weakness doesn't really work in stun. Hmm. Damage modifier is half, though. I mean, that's less than the uh, this, which is a standard attack. So, we we'll probably want us to keep the sacrificial stab, the healing. Vulnerability hex and the daemon pull comes in handy against the mook. So, we'll run that for the moment. Anyway, so let's get our team of flips back up. Back up. Make sure we pick the right one. There we go. Wizard hag. Uh, decent. Deeds, yeah, we basically bring it up to eight. Now, I'm not actually making any huge plans at the moment when it comes to the, uh, the how we're going to get the town raised up because right now the biggest issue we have is cash. We need cash. We don't need to advance our stuff and advance our buildings anymore because we've already set it up so we can do some serious improvements to our regular people. Now, again, like I said, we're running these guys on the cheap. These are just, this is just a temp agency kind of thing going on here. Ooh, hang on a second. One thing I want to check. I want to make sure I've got all of his statted out properly. Sacrificial stab does not work in the back. Now we got to make sure we do this right. Is there a position? Decision does not work. Battlefield medicine does not work. Mm, so we got to decide. Sacrificial stab is good, but with Demon's Pull and Abyssal Artillery, we're going to be basically spamming Demon's Pull as long as we stay there and Vulnerability Hex, which is okay. What your speed should be higher than his. Good, good, good. Hmm. Go with that or go with that. Let's let's do the abyssal artillery for the moment. See how that works as a combination. Let's see all of yours. Yeah, you're in your best position. You're in your best position, and you are in your best position. So hey, we did do that right except for him. Let's get to the provisioning. Right, so we don't want to give him too much. We've got the antivenom from the plague doctor, right? Antivenom and medicinal herbs from, I guess, you, dude? But, 12 food. And since it's medium, let's give us 12 torches as well. Might be running a little light on the torches, but torches is kind of funny anyways. And again, like I said, no special equipment, no that. We're just going to run these guys like, you know, cannon fodder. And we have 400 to spare. All right, people, get out there and try not to die too quickly. Boom. I had collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. Oh, that's terrible. Ah, oh, for God's sakes, you, what, you, you handed the other one over to the fish people. What'd you do to this one? And we'll find out. There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. All right, so there we go. We got a bunch of places she could be, so we're going to have to basically wait for hope for the, the, uh, that. Now, as you can see, we've got a secret door. Let's just get that knocked out right away. Right then. And if you had a key, it'd be more. Measure, but I'll work with it. The alike. Now we have an option here, basically going back and checking on their section. But really, what we're going to do here is we're going to. 
probably best if we move along this zone right here. Oh, right, you can't see the cursor, can you? On the left, oh, you can, there you go. Left-hand side and clear out these sections here first. Now, we know we're gonna have one tr battle, so that will give us a quick opportunity to be able to detect how well we do. All right. Oh, I don't care. But, dude, yeah, I can't use your healing ability either. I can, however, just anti-vent in the damn thing. All right, so. Surprise, this is a good way to do so. All right, so... Harvest, yeah, we'll harvest to grab these two for damage and then bleed them. We got three damage for damage and three hit points each, so they're both dead in individuals walking. So... Uh, not exactly the best. And... Oh, that's beautiful. Look how they wither and die, I like you, dude. Yeah, here's where problems come up. We need to move... Let's try you over here first. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Hmm. Usually not forgiving. All right, so let's move back to where we were before and work on you, dude. This artillery supposed to work. Oh, there's no one in the back to target. Hmm. All right, let's go with Hands in the Abyss, because it's going to give us more of a you know, sort of range to work with here. All right, so let's go through. Oh, it allows us to, to attack single targets in a wider variety. Now, again, we'll just check out this section over here. And here you can have a torch. Well, I, I'll allow it in the budget. No surprise, surprise! All right, so, Curse Stabby. Wait, play grenade doesn't work in section two? Oh, we don't have people in the back. Never mind. No, that's done. Cleansed from our lands. Well, that was quick. Again, this temp team seems to be working well. No treasure, however. Your turn. And sometimes the door is just a door. A cigar is just a cigar. More sledge monsters. All right, so let's do a multi-attack here. Oops, pressed the wrong one. Oh well. In the meantime, marked. Kind of overkill, but I'll use overkill under underkill anytime. I poison you. Whoa, resistance. It's not futile. Oh, first injury. Right, collect bounty. There we go. Body keeps leaking. Oh, just in... Ooh, can't incision him. Can move him, however. After getting rid of all the bodies. Continually onslaught. Destroy. Little bit of dancing. I'm just spreading this out one at a time. Map, good. And apparently that's not going to help us in any fashion. Seriously. All right, so we've got to assume, by the way, that we're going to be... One of these two over here is going to be the boss, because you never know. Make sure that we're set. we got the play grenade, which is operational. You're in position three. You, my friend. Oh, God, we're going to get for the reckless we'll stab, but abyssal artillery or... Hands from the abyss. Mm, Damon's pull offline. Abyssal artillery online. Let's have both options, just in case. I think you're set to go on these, because you can target the back with all of them. Except Dirk Stab. Well, Dirk Stab can do so as well from position 3, so it should be fine. You can't use that from position 2, but you can use it to hack at the cauldron, so they come to that. So I think we're okay. Cool. More cash. We're kind of coming up short. Okay. First real challenge. Try not to stress out too quickly, guys. Oh, this is gonna suck. They're very fast. Luckily, we're dodging. Great, so the first thing I wanna do is target two of these for bleeding. All right, so in addition, we can play grenade the back two, including the madman. This should finish off the dog. There we go. Move him in closer. Now. Demon's pull will be great right now, but let's to oh hands to the abyss. I'm in the wrong location again. Tell you what, target you. Gotta work on this combo. 
And that's a hell of a crit. As the enemy crumbles. No, nope, you're still kicking. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of stress. A little bit of bitiness. Ow. Yes, but we can heal ourselves. There we go. All right. And you bled and bleed again, which is great. There you go. Truly amusing. All right. Okay, we're doing okay. Still need to work with you, dude, though. Triumphant pride mm. precipitates a dizzying fall. Uh, so I might be able to work with this combo. Keeps getting stranger, though. What doesn't kill you makes you stranger. Right then. Well, that was nothing. Oh, cool. At least we know better not to go in that direction because we don't need to go to an empty room. So, so we can smash our fingers against the wall in the way. But we will go around this one right here, that obstacle. Uh -huh, I see your walls coming. All right, everybody have snack. You've earned it so far. Okay, so. And let's see. Let's wait. Excuse me. Terribly sorry, but someone absolutely needed their belly rubbed. What can I say? I'm a cat person. Okay, so... This room. Hey, pocket change. Great. Well, this is a level one dungeon. My god, people, I told you to have a snack once. Don't overdo it. Luckily, I got that much food, because I'm going to need some of it from the fire place. Speaking of fire. Now, I've got all of this room. Back up a second, guys. A little too far there. Nothing to fill it with. All right. So, we either go through here, the curio, or go through here. Odds are she's here, but either direction we go in, it's going to be kind of the same. I'm going to go ahead right first. Get two curios in the way. Your turn to check shit out. Oh, okay. More cash and more food, which is good because you guys keep eating it all. Nobody said you could go over budget with the food. All right, more stuff. Cool. Come on. Two stress dealers. Got it. Okay, now at least we've got the right idea when it comes to dealing stress dealers. Let's gas you. And then, grab you. Put you in front. Then, finish you. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. And then, Chris stab you. Well, actually, can finale you, which is awesome, by the way. But debuffs... Unfortunately. Ew. Bad touch. A little bit of stress, too. Alright, let's get everybody back into position. Jester, once again. MVP, and oh my god, how did you manage this? Hi, can you say that you suck? Oosh, oh, I can't use, use battlefield medicine while I'm here. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Seize this momentum. Ooh, we can tell what we've got going, hopefully. Oh, no, I can't tell if that's the boss one, though. At least we got the trap. And you, my friend. We'll be in bad shape when we start. We're not touching that. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's the trap. Trap disarm 40. Trap disarm 60. Trap disarm 60. Trap disarm 40. Okay, Jester, you got this. Excellent. No, I should have had the other guy do it. He had stress. 
All right, pop it in. Okay, this is a familiar configuration. We've done some. I think we would keep the light this low. We kind of tend to have surprise people more often. All right, you get incised. Destroyed. Excellent. You move up one. And you... Finisher. Appropriate. No stress for you. You... Oh, there we go. Little fuckers are breeding. All over the place! Oosh. Little chemical warfare. Gotta deal with this stuff. And a little bleedy. And a bit of an over... Oh, freak. All right, cool. Hopefully the Blight will finish you off. Yep, definitely finish you off. And you're dead. Slowly, Boom. Gently. Hey, is how a life is taken. actually got an heirloom. Before and more stuff. Waiting to be spent. All right, we gotta assume this could be... Is everybody where they're supposed to be? Probably as best as we can be. I'm gonna guess, by the way. Probably, uh, there we go. Nature herself, victim to the spreading corruption. Oh, grab it! We're gonna definitely need it. With misintent. Oh, and somebody hit some cash in there too, which is good. Nope. But we know where she is now. She's here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to this location, do this battle, and then we're gonna rest up and continue forward. But in the meantime. Quick jog back, everybody. Come on, everyone. Okay, we'll stop for food first. But hopefully there's no need for eating again until we get there. Because we only have the food in order to, you know, go to camp or eat once. God. You see, tell me about it. And we're definitely going to camp before we do that first marked battle there. So, so right here, essentially. Come on, move it. Move it, move it, move it. Uh, one march at a time. Okay, you're a good temp team. I like you. Okay, now we will hit campsite. All right. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Maybe, but we got some serious wound care to have to do here. Tiger's Eye. The cure, remove disease, heal 50%. This will do. Can't do it on myself. Ah. Uh, nope! I didn't mean to do that! Ugh. Just heal him. Do the basic stuff, at least. Uh, turn back time. Do we have anything else? How we do it? Tracking. Dark Ritual, heal 50%. Use torchlight by a hundred. Oof. It's Fifteen stress heals one companion fifty percent. Uh, can't do wound care to yourself. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna go with chance self only plus ten accuracy. What else have we got going here? Turn back time. One companion plus ten accuracy. Hmm. I kind of prefer a super one, but... Hmm. I'm going to probably put it plan takedown. Plus 20 for size 2 for battles. Oof. Yep, we're going to do that. And basically, the bigger or the harder they will fall. That's what we're going to use it for the... The hag. She's a size 2 opponent, after all. All right. So, everybody, let's, get, let's go take on the hag. A blazing sting star is born. Uh, a couple side trips first, of course. As always. All right, so you, my friend, disarm that. Got it. And you got the stress relief. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Your turn. Oh my God, we got stuff. Cannot recall venture to this land. Why did we leave a mother ocean for all we needed for tender waves? So we'll now return her and back to her embrace. So yes, that's the that's the. That's the journal from the person turning into a fish person by infection, which is not how that works. Ooh, this is a bad fight. 
Okay then, so, who's first among us? You are annoying. Let's see, maybe we can get a couple of bleed marks. Hopefully that will finish you off. Not quite, but... Ugh. Not necessary, but useful. Alright, so... Uh, heal yourself. Excellent. We did that, but we're going to stress his result. But since I'm not keeping you, I don't care about the stress that much. That's why I didn't do any stress relief in the uh, camping site either. All right. So, Groper. Groper. Good dodge. Right then. Incision on you. That should finish you off. Definitely. And you... Come on. Front and center. Uh, unfortunately, you can stress from front and center. Again, stress isn't as important. Hmm. But what we can do stab you. And that will kill you next round, but that knocks him back to position three where he does less damage. I have plans for these things. Alright. In no, heal yourself, dude. You, my friend. Oof. You are marked for death. Annihilated. Hmm. As victories well, I've got stuff. So Lightstone. Lightstone. No, you can borrow this. I have no problem with that. Put the Blightstone here. And there you go. You can minus one speed, which isn't going to be huge. We do have a stress issue there. Alright, so... A couple of fights, and then boss. Alright, so... Not much else between these two points. I think we're ready to go, people. Also, put yourselves back in order, people. Hmm. More stuff. A handsome reward for a task well performed. More stuff. More pocket change. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're all just stop. Okay. Apparently, someone's out walking your dogs. Ow. You'll have to fix yourself. And you're gonna Eldritch pulled. Uh, this could be bad. You know what we can do ourselves, though? Move you up and mark you. Then... Actually, let's just stab the dogs. Let's kill the pets. Should have made forward, by the way. <laughs> to get things back into order. Ooh, ow. Two bleedies. Alright, so it's definitely not where you want her, but that will increase the damage of the bleed. Okay. The incision. There we go. Ow. There we go. Probably unnecessary. Good people. Oh, that's definitely not where you want to be. Oh, gods. Oh, well. Let me get back to position, anyways. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Another fight ahead of us. We want to have zero torches when we get to her, simply because we have more room for stuff. Right then, hello. No, I should probably have cured some of the healing. Right, so what we want to do is get these guys bleeding quickly. Rapid rush. Good dodge. Okay. Damage pull. Excellent. Hmm. Let's punch a dog. Eh, not enough to kill him, unfortunately. A little bit. Ooh, kid, okay. Keep moving around, which is good and bad in a couple of cases. Okay, so first of all, gotta fill medicine on you. Because you're kind of wounded. 
And a rabid rush. Ow. Eh, sigh. All the bleedage. Right then. Bleed. Alright, so... And... No, harvest you two. Excellent. Let's get yourself bleeding, please. And finished. Let's see. Excellent. Okay, so you are the weakest link. This artillery is what I guess we're going to be using. So you aren't going to need these any useful from above. Hands of the best will affect her, but it has to be done from the front two positions, which you are not currently at. So we can incurse. Or Damon's pull for half damage. Because this is now we'll use that for a primary target in the back. And yeah, I guess we go with this. It's gonna be a little weird having mostly a support position, but I think we can work with this. Make sure, yeah, I got the heal. Everything else I think is where you need to be. So, one last move to go. More stuff. Moya has been affected by sickness. It must have been rotting air from the coffin. She's just pushing with her spade. Oh, that's just terrible. She's gonna die. But we got the rest of her stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Ugh. Oh my god. No Everybody took damage? A failing body. Good gods, people. Ugh. Eat some stuff. Right then. Alright, so. In Radiance, may we find victory. With luck. Well, let's go and see how the temps do. And I believe they're starting off wounded. Alright. First things first. Let's drop the poison on her. Excellent. 65, and we're doing 5 damage round. Next thing's next. Now, we can mark her for additional damage, which is probably what we want to do here. Can't move her, however. But, and we can make them both stab. All right, and we got the lead going as well. Losing eight around, which is good, but into the pot, dude. All right, you're in. So, not the worst scenario here. We can incurse vulnerability hex. This little artillery. Would that work on you? Would, actually. But, ah, uh, the debuff did not work. Minus damage some. All right, so you. Meat tenderizer. Ow. Mass heal required. We're working on it. Right then. All right, so first of all, heal the healer. That's good. No, you're going to be in bad shape, but we'll heal you in a moment. Hmm. All right, we're almost there. You're still bleeding, which is good. Ow. Now next. <sighs> you're out. Get in place, dude. Ah, but you're set up for finale, which is good. Heal you. That's not a good brawl. But we can grenade you. Exactly what we're gonna do. Halfway there. And finale. More than halfway there. Excellent use of that ability, and yeah, that kind of pissed her off a bit. Alright then, so we're back to where we started, but I honestly think we're better off trying to do her down first. The way is still blocked, but less people will be eaten. That's always good. Soaring Charm, plus disease resistance, plus to dodge over 75%. Alright, so... Boom! We got it. So yes, this is how you use the Temp Party thing. So I call it the Temporary Agency uh, a group uh, tactic, in which you just basically grab four people out of your selection, because we've got five coming around, and you throw them at the target. Since we had additional six people this time around, it became absolutely necessity to use it for this time. Use it. But let's return to the Hamlet. And we managed to clean this place up a bit. 
And all of this is pure profit. Now it's only going to be about 8,000, mind you, plus 12 that... It's probably about 13,000, which isn't bad, mind you. And we got some decent amount of uh, heirlooms there. And we don't really care about this, but out of curiosity, claustrophobic and backtracker. Bloodthirsty, hard-skinned, and tetanus. Well, you got a rock, dude. All right, so... Call of the Crusades. In with ever, only two have arrived. It appears the abbot's earnest appeal has been answered, but with mocking quality. What do we got here? Oh, level zeros, aren't they? I'm sorry, guys. We really can't use you. All right, and we have to start Call of the Crusade, week 36. All right, the hag is down, and we didn't have to risk anything that we want, that we wanted. So... What we're going to do is we're going to give you your just rewards. First, let's make sure that, yep, get the Blightstone back. There we go. But, and in that case, uh, don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. This one has become vestigial. Mm -hmm. Useless. And, and there you are, you can't hide. Elsewhere, for we have need of sterner stock. Boom! So the hag's down. We didn't want to I didn't want to risk losing any anyway like we did last time. Now it means we don't have any experience for our people, but we did do this kind of alternate milk run. Because it took us nothing to uh send those people out to get what I wanted. And we're currently thirteen thousand ahead and got a few trinkets that we'd be able to sell. Now one of those trinkets, by the way, the quest one was the demon's cauldron for the occultist, but minus ten percent virtue chance I don't mind, plus fifteen percent stress. Ugh. And they could use that with the area box, but he doesn't use a lot of stun or debuff, so I think I'm going to sell that. It's probably worth a penny, pretty penny. Ooh, yes. Nice. And, of course, stun stone we have no use for. Oh, uh, no way in hell. I think we already have one. Yeah, okay. Boom. Listen, dodge. Hit points. But yeah. I don't like those sort of things. Okay, plus 15% blight. We might have a use for you. Might. We'll just let you stay here for now. But you notice they put this at 21,000. Now, again, we're here trying to get our people perfect. So, Clutch Hitter, Eagle Eye, Precise Striker, Quick Draw, and Warren's Tactician. None of these are really super great. Co Tacticians, okay. I don't like the ones that are location specific, especially because towards the end we will not be able to use any of those in the Darkest Dungeon. Balanced is good. Last gas is okay. Eldritch Slayer, Wield Explorer, balanced. No, none of these. Considering how expensive these are. Ooh. Do we want Hard Noggin for Dismas? We already put two on him. 15% stun resistance. Think about it. Let's see if we come across something better. Cove, Technician, Fast Healer. Nope. Natural Swing. Resilient and Warrior of Light. Resilient actually is a decent one to get because, you know, I've already said repeatedly that stress is the problem. 9,188, but let's see. Do we have the ability to... Let's see, no. We can't uh, reduce the price. So, 9,199. Get resilient. All right, so let's not, actually. Let's see if we've got somebody else. Faded, Eldritch Hater, Lurker, Unholy Slayer, and Steady. Oof, minus 10% stress. Always a good chance. Clotter, bleed resistance, healing gift, natural eye, robust, wield explorer. Yeah, I have high standards for what I'm going to spend for. Mediator, nope. Resilient, stress heal. Second wind and Warren's explorer, nope. And the last one, Mandalorian. Villain explorer, Warren scrounger, skilled gambler, on guard, backtracker. Hmm. This one's good, but not great. So yeah, I think we've gone about as much as we're going to. The only ones I would possibly get would be, again, Resilient, plus Stress Heal Reduced. Do we want Stress Reduced entirely? Him. We could use him to get minus 10% Stress at all times. Again, that would make it so that he's capable of doing, you know, going out a heck of a lot longer, and he's quite useful. So, Faded plus Steady. Those probably cost about the same amount. Yep, 9,188. And it would give us both faded and steady for him. So, this will take Watu out for this current one, but I think we're okay with that. Now, we can actually go back and now we tackle the bad ones. Uh, sickly's bad, but not terrible. No chi, claustrophobia, enlightened, will only meditate. Will not take part in prayer. Not a huge issue. Cheat, fascinating with corpses, not really a 
Night blindness, not a big issue. Can't use you. Light sensitive. Oof. Since we do this a lot, yeah, Rambu, you're going to be losing that light sensitive, okay? Again, we're trying to make our people a little bit better. All right. No need for the diseases. We have those two set up. So, again, we still have 10,000 to go. So we do have the ability next time that we do this to a grade one of our adventurers. And we have a bunch of things to consider here. And let's just double check what we're capable of doing. It could increase stress recovery, but I think we're actually fine with that. We do notice we don't need a hell of a lot of that. All right, so survivalist. Yeah, we could 10% less in camping skills, but we're not doing a lot of that. Sanitarium we already tackled. Guild. I honestly don't think we have anything we can possibly buy here. Yeah, the price is extremely high at the moment. Can we upgrade the furnace? Not quite. So, again, it looks like we're just collecting collectibles, as it were. And with that, it's a pretty quick session. But again, sometimes things just work out properly. And you have, you know, what you need. Now, next time around, let's see what we've got. Okay, now that we... Oh, God, the 8-pounder. That's a fun one. <laughs> I'll have to do it eventually, but we're not quite there yet. I'm thinking we're going to tackle one of the bigger ones. Death below resistance, minus 25 stress, plus 10% virtues death. It's okay. Let's see, scout. That actually might be worth it. See, I don't think I can take the actual scout. These two high grade ones, but we could do. Yeah, we can run the lower the level ones and see how well we can uh, if we can get them up. In the meantime, let's check out our upgraded stagecoach. See, if, oh my God, tell me you're useful. Tell me you're useful. Oh, gambler, steady. It's good. This is sainthood. Off guard. We'll have to get rid of that lazy eye and fear of the unholy. You know what? I don't even think. What do you hell do you have for range? Bellow. Bellow. Bellow? I don't give a shit about that. Okay, so... Hell yes. Hell yes. Welcome. Welcome to the team, my man. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. Plus, we have that awesome shield. It's all yours, dude, because you're the only one who can use it. And yes, finally, I get one of you. Get a man at arms. You haven't really tackled him. No, I mean it's been forever since I've done a uh, deep dive into one of the uh, <laughs> into one of the uh, character uh, things. I might be able to attach one night tonight. We'll be doing that online, and of course, because it takes a couple of it takes a couple of tries to do that. Sometimes. In the meantime, witness trying to make anemic cove explorer. You're okay. The problem is I've got a better one. So we'll just keep you there for the moment. But yeah, welcome to the team, Dakray. And anyways, by the way, if you're a supporter and you're listening to this, don't forget, if you are a cultist or acolyte level, you have naming rights for a characters, all any of them except the Mandalorian. And, you know, let me know through the uh, email I, that you should have of if, uh, if you want to do so and which character you want to rename. Which one do you, of the, of the red shirts, do you want to ha have particular emotional interest in so that when they die, you will have, you know, be that much more sadder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting because Dakre is definitely going out next time around. And we will see how that goes. Anyways, this is Fantastic World. Thank you for all from Lovecraft Country. I hope you enjoyed this on the Twitch side, of course. They, we are we have stretch goals for when we reach the 100 followers, which is 43 away. But hey, I am ambitious. It only took me nine months to get to 50 for the first stretch goal. And on the YouTube side, of course... You had like, share, subscribe, you really like like it down below or links to the Gumroad payment platform in which you can help support this channel and get additional content and unlock additional episodes for the channel and even an additional series. We're only three dollars away from an additional series set on Monday, which contents of the both the series and the bonus episodes voted on by supporters. And of course, we have stretch goals for the subscriber numbers. When we get to 850, we'll unlock another set of Cultist Simulator and Darkest Dungeon episodes. And when we reach a thousand, we will actually be hitting quite a bit for um, unlocks, considering, you know, four digits. Woo woo. But we'll be getting uh, the P Chancellor Palpatine Lantern Apostle run, which is the hardest run for Cult of Simulator. In addition, we will start unlocking the Lore Hunter uh, and uh, the Lore Hunter episodes for Secret World. So, with that, I bid you farewell. I hope you enjoyed this and relatively short episode, but hey. Sometimes you do it right, and it all works out. See you next time.
I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise of the Dark Lords of content and data. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings.